Did you like the double wave today instead of the one rainbow wave? I hope it was a little something extra spicy for you in your weekday here. How are you guys? I know I'm good because uh, I went shopping. And by I went shopping, I mean I used my credit card online. I don't know what came over me. Well, actually, I do know what came over me. I like to shop and spend money and buy things. Why I decided to go all out all of a sudden probably has, you know, a lot to do with the fact that it's about to be school again and, uh, I don't know. I like to treat myself to a little back-to-school shopping, especially because I feel like this summer I really haven't done that much shopping for clothes. Mom, I know you're gonna watch this eventually. Can we just be okay with the fact that I did this shopping, please? Because it happened and there's nothing I could do about it because I already took the tags off a lot of it, so. <laughs> I needed new things, okay? Can I talk to you guys about real life things, about body things? So I think I'm like actually starting to experience those things where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting older because I haven't gained any weight, technically, like numbers wise. Like in the past two years, I've stayed the same weight. My number has not really changed. It maybe has fluctuated a pound or two, but that's it. But my clothes don't fit the same because my weight is redistributing itself into areas where women who are getting to be of age to produce children tend to have Bits. What I'm trying to say is my hips and my boobs have gotten bigger. So that means my shirts don't fit quite the same and my pants don't fit. So that's been great and really good for the self-confidence. You know what? It is what it is. And I would rather buy new clothes and be comfortable than suffer in my old clothes and have a muffin top. So I got new things. And granted, it's not like my whole wardrobe is all of a sudden crap and in the gutter. It's just some things. The things that used to hug me now squeeze me a little too much, so that's that. Let's just dive right into it because I always end up talking way too much. And yeah, this is going to be a long one because it's I, I bought quite a lot of things. I'm going to start off with Forever 21. I purchased things from them because there was a sale and quite a few items that had been in my wish list that I knew I was never gonna buy full price went on sale and they still had my size that's amazing usually when things go on sale my size is gone because I'm you know average girl size first off I got this dress and it is so cute it's so cute it's so cute so it's just got this kind of like wonky chevron black and white print on it and it's just you know it looks like a normal little cap sleeve type dress thing right and then BAM you turn around and it's got a cutout in the back which I love because it can show off my tattoos which I think is always so funny when people are like oh my dad you have tattoos and I'm like yes I do I quite like ink I don't remember exactly how much this was on sale for it was originally $22.80 I think it was on sale for $14 or something like that 14 bucks for a dress I can do that that's like Buffalo exchange price and basically since I don't get to go thrifting anymore because the Goodwills out here suck in Massachusetts I just compare things to Buffalo Exchange because that's thrifting and so then I can justify the price of things Does that make sense? Hope so because I can't explain it any better Another dress that I got from Forever 21 which I believe was also on sale for $14 It was originally $22.80 as well It is so cute it's like, it's a spaghetti strap type, almost halter in the front and then like a razorback type thing in the back and I love it. Look at this pattern! It's so cute! And it's just, it fits and flares so adorably on my figure. I'm so excited, especially since it's really freaking hot right now. And by hot, I mean it's really humid. I don't know, you can probably hear my air conditioning going, but you know I mean business when I've got my AC on during a filming, because I know that gets loud. These curls don't come from a curling iron. These are all products of good old humidity. Fun fact, I don't know why I'm so pointy today. I really want you to know these things, apparently. Also from Forever 21, I got this tank top. It was originally $13.80. I think I got it on sale for $9. It is this like astrology type tank top, celestial type tank top, galactical type tank top. I love it. 
I'm kind of upset because I went by the reviews online and I shouldn't have, I know, but a lot of people were saying that this thing is so huge and it's so big compared to what I normally wear, blah, 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 blah. So I ordered a size down and it fits me, but I wanted it to be a little loose on me. And it's not, it's, it's definitely fitted, but whatever, I mean it fits, so it's fine. But I just really like it. I loved the fact that it's got the pattern on the front and the back. I love galaxy type stuff. I don't know if you watch my 50 things about me or whatever tag video, but I talked about how I love astrology and the zodiac and all that good stuff. I also have done a painting series on galaxy type things, uh, so yeah, I have a thing for space. <laughs> Next up from Forever 21 is another tank top that I think was also on sale for $9 and it was originally $14.80. It is this kitty tank top! Oh, it's so cute. Look at the little kitties! I feel like this is what Essie's Mint Candy Apple nail polish color is, though I don't actually own that color so I could be totally wrong. But it's like a nice green aqua teal color. It's one of those really huge like muscle tank cutout type tops. So I definitely have to wear something underneath or else everyone's just getting a free peak show. I think it's a really cute tank top, so I'm excited to have that. And then the last things from Forever 21 were just a couple pieces of jewelry. One of the things was this necklace. I took the price tag off of it, so I don't remember how much it was, but I think it was like $3, $3.80 or something like that. I think it's so cute. It's just got these three triangles on it and it's mixed metals, which I love. Can you tell I'm wearing mixed metals today as well? I just, I really like it. It's cute. And then another necklace that I got, I'm planning on deconstructing and making into a pair of earrings because let me tell you, when I first started watching Close Encounters, Jen had made a pair of earrings with upside down crosses I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but she had them and she used to wear them a lot. I don't know if she just doesn't like them anymore or whatever, but I still like them. And I've always wanted to make myself a pair, but I couldn't find the dang necklace because by the time she had worn those earrings and I had found them, Forever 21 didn't carry that cross necklace anymore, so I have been on the hunt. Finally, Forever 21 had a cross necklace that will work, so I'm just really excited. It's got these crosses and basically I will just take them off so that I have two that dangle down like that. And I'm so excited. I know it's not to everyone's taste because of religion and all that nonsense, but hey, it is what it is. I like what I like and I'm gonna wear it. So very excited to do that. So next up, really excited. I got a lot of stuff from Delia's, which I haven't shopped there in such a long time. That used to be like my go-to thing in high school. You know, back when you had to actually call the store and say, I want this item and I want this item and they would do it all for you. Whoa, how times have evolved. First off, I was mentioning the hip issue. So I need new pants. Well, one thing that just are gonna fit no matter what size I am, really. I got these leggings, which I'm really happy to have. They're, you know, your typical olive, army green, eh, covered in cat hair kind of a color. But then they've got the cute little zip detail on the leg, which I just love. I'm a sucker for a zipper detail. These were, I think, $14, so not too bad for leggings. That's, it's okay. I'm playing with my necklaces. This is my necklace. <laughs> Another bottom thing that I bought, I got these shorts and they're just high-waisted kind of booty shorts. Ooh. They're the Skyler two and a half inch high-waist short. Got mine at 1314. I remember back in the good old days of high school when I was like, you know, an 11, 12. Whatever, I, I really don't care. I like these, I like that it's got the buttons that show and everything, and they're just a nice dark wash, and they fit me well, so yay! And then the other pair of jeans that I got are just a pair of jeggings to kind of replace my Target jeggings that I always wore and just wore to death last winter and whatnot. They're basically exactly the same as my Target jeggings, except I got them from Delia's. So they're just an ink wash with a little, little, little bit of fading. They're high-waisted. I've already worn these. They're the Live High Waist. Again, I got them in a 1314, and I just like them. They're very comfortable, and I would recommend them to anyone looking for a good pair of jeggings. I think they're like $34, which sucks, but I wear those things to death, so I don't mind having to pay 
a little bit extra. I mean, I mind, but I can get over it. Also from Delia's, I got a couple, actually a few pairs of shoes, but one of the pairs of shoes hasn't come in the mail yet because they did that thing where they're like, they advertise it in their magazine and then you go online and it's like not in stock until August whenever. So I think it came in stock like on the 11th. So I should be getting them in the mail sometime soon, but I'm really excited. They're kitty loafers and they are so cute. <laughs> I got a couple other pairs of shoes as well because I need to stock up my flats collection now that I'm going back to school. I got these leopard print flats which I just think are so cute and they are so freaking comfortable seriously didn't even have to break these in okay it's a lie it took like 10 minutes to break them in and then they were broken in very happy with these I think they were like $18 or something I don't know don't quote me on the prices I'm just I'm it's from my memory which is bad because I'm getting old like I've been talking about and then also I am so happy to have these in my life I finally got a replacement pair of Oxfords. Oh, I love Oxfords. They are basically my Achilles heel, my kryptonite, my whatever. I just love them. I think they're so cute. I love having them in different colors and different styles. But I had had a pair that looked nearly identical to these from Forever 21. If you remember back in the day, some of my earlier videos, I had them in Outfits of the Week there. But then they finally broke because, you know, they're from Forever 21. I had to replace them and I couldn't find a pair that looked just like them, which you would think this would be an easy thing to try and find. No! These are really hard to find at a reasonable price. <laughs> I think these were $34 or $35. They're from Madden Girl. And I haven't worn them yet because I've only had them for a few days here. But I just, I love them. I know I'm going to wear them to death. And I'm so excited to finally have a replacement. So, yay! Next, I just got some kind of basic e things from H&M. They had a sale going on. Not that I bought anything from the sale. First off, I just got this t-shirt. It's super duper basic. It was $9.95, but I just love the color. It's like this really, really dark, dark, dark emerald green color. It's just kind of that slouchy, baggy, no-nonsense kind of a fit that I just, I really like. And yeah, it's, it's just good to have basic tees in your wardrobe. So I was happy to pick that up. And then also something I have been lusting after for a really long time and I just figure, you know, it's never gonna go on sale because a lot of their basic stuff never goes on sale. But it is this cardigan, this knit cardigan, and I don't know, buying this in the heat, what were you thinking? I, I wasn't, but I was. I, I needed it. It's just this really nice, kind of a burgundy, maroon, knit, open cardigan, and I really like it. I really, really like it. I love slouchy cardigans, so this was perfect, and this was $24.95, so eh. But I know I'm gonna wear it a lot, so at the same time, no big deal. Another really basic thing and something from their basics line, uh, $12.95, it's just this kind of slouchy, really, really basic dress. I'm probably, you know, gonna take the string off or whatever and use an actual belt to belt it, but I just, I really like the color for whatever reason. I know it's not like a color that you would think, wow, that's gorgeous, but I just really like it. It's like this taupey gray color. I don't know. I was very drawn to it, so I got it. <laughs> and then something that I am so excited to have found from their divided line, and it is this Nirvana tank top. I grew up on Nirvana. Okay, this sounds really terrible, but the fact that, you know, Kurt Cobain, may he rest in peace, I'm so happy that David Grohl ended up, their drummer, ended up being able to go off and create the Foo Fighters after Nirvana, and I love the Foo Fighters, I love David Grohl. <sighs> Anyways. Nirvana. I love, 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 love. And I know people are going to be like, do you actually listen to them? Yes, I do. And so I was thinking about it. I'm like, okay, they're going to want to know like a favorite song. I can't pick a favorite song. I mean, their Nevermind CD is gold. There's a reason why it's very popular. But I think my favorite song, one of my favorite songs on there is Lounge Act. So there you go, if you want to know. Anyways, it's just this really long, almost dress length tank and I just love it. I'm excited to style it up. Either I can wear it with shorts or something, tuck it in, I can tie it up in a knot, I can wear it with a bodycon skirt underneath or over it. Many options are available for this Nirvana tank so I am quite happy to have it. Oh and if you didn't see the tag waving around it was only ten dollars so. Last thing from H&M, I got a pair of tennis shoes. These are the coolest shoes ever. 
Am I right? Look at them! They're these holographic, just normal type tennis shoes. I don't know what you want to call these. They almost look like Keds, but I don't know. They're only $12.95 and I love them. Last but not least, let's wrap this up. This has been a long haul. I got some stuff from Birchbox because I finally had a lot of points and could buy myself a perfume. That is what I do with my Birchbox points. I save them and save them and save them until I have enough money to buy myself a full-size perfume that I adore because I hate buying perfumes because they're so gosh darn expensive. The perfume that I got was Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck. I hate celebrity perfumes. They're usually terrible and just absolute duds, but Wonderstruck had me at hello and has held on to me since. I've been loving this perfume for years and I just have been getting samples every time I can, like on Sephora or Ulta. When you know you select your free samples after your purchase, I would always pick Wonderstruck. <laughs> so I've had plenty of vials of it, but now I have the full size bottle and I'm so excited. I actually, I think it's a really cute bottle. I know it's a little tacky, but I like it. And then the smell is just, Oh, it's so good. I already have another perfume on, so I'm not gonna put this one on, but it's just a really nice, sweet vanilla berry. And whenever I wear it, guys compliment on me. Guys compliment on me? I think that was a mix of guys compliment me and guys hit on me. I love that perfume. Men love that perfume. People love that perfume, and there's a reason, because it smells good. I had other points on Birchbox to spend, so I figure, you know what, I'm just gonna treat myself to something I wouldn't treat myself to otherwise, and that is a Deborah Littman nail polish I got across the universe, because come on! I haven't tried it yet, but I am so excited to have this in my collection, I'm excited to try it, and yeah. Deborah Lipman, yes, finally I have one in my nail polish stash. So yeah, you guys, I can't believe it, but that was it for my haul. Got stuff from Delia's, I got stuff from Forever 21, I got stuff from H&M, and I got some free stuff from Birchbox. I think I have done a lot of shopping and I need to stop, but who knows if that's gonna happen. I'm very happy with all of my purchases. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Any other requests, feel free to leave them down below. I am always open to them and welcoming of your input. And also, Voting is still open for the best in beauty. It's like getting two cherries in your Shirley Temple instead of one, if I were to win. So yeah, if you haven't placed your vote for me and you want to vote for me, definitely head on over. I'll leave it in an annotation at the end of the video for you to do that. But you know, if you don't want to, you, you really don't have to. <laughs> so just wanted to mention that. Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments. Let me know if you have picked up any wonderful things while shopping or if there's anything I kind of need to keep my eye out for and yeah I guess just until next time just stay well until then bye let's put some sparkle liner on the bottom line oh, the bottom line <laughs>